Hi and welcome back to Closet Confidential. I'm Courtney Smith and this week I'm in London chatting to Lauren Nicole, who is a plus size advocate and colour enthusiast. So let's go check out her wardrobe. Okay, lead the way to your colourful wardrobe. This is it. Oh my goodness. And this side as well. Okay, well. Oh this wow. This side is not as colourful. I mean, it's pretty colourful. Let's have a look at these guys first because, yeah. I mean, it's screaming colour, which is what drew me to you because I feel like your Instagram feed is just so vibrant, mm -hmm. so full of life. What is it about colour that you are so drawn to? I don't think I've ever seen you in a boring outfit in my oh, life. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I can assure you there's been a few. But um, I don't know. I feel like maybe 20... 21 I kind of was really strict with myself about the fact that I only wanted to wear clothes that were gonna like bring me joy mm. um, and for me that tends to be color yeah I do have like a few kind of like black pieces but more often than not like you'll see me in pinks or greens or oranges those are like my favorite colors like you can see there's only a few purple pieces <laughs> oh my god I'm, I'm like, like looking at this girl. is amazing yeah but that's it I feel like color brings you joy anyway brings anybody joy but i feel joy looking at you oh, being dressed and i think it's a really great way to give other people inspiration because i feel like a lot of style now can be i don't know like obviously a little bit samey yeah and i feel like when i see you wearing clothes it's vibrant it's fun it's effervescent and you kind of bring that alive and i don't yeah. really think i know anyone that dresses like you show me this because this looks amazing sure okay so this piece actually was a dress um so it's from hippie shake it was a dress and the dress was far too tight on my midsection okay and i was like sure i could keep it as one, one of those pieces that i wear eventually when i lose like five pounds or whatever but i wanted to make it something that i could wear anytime so i cut it um, and now how I like to wear it is either I'll wear it with the back, so this is actually the back, at the front so that it acts as kind of like a jacket style. Nice. Or I'll just have it as like a top with the front yeah. showing. And I wear it with like wide leg trousers, jeans as well works with it. Mm. It's just such a cute way of like, I feel like this is very an autumn, winter, Christmassy, fun, fun vibe. Or obviously, like you know, you are a plus size advocate, and you talk about like style and and embracing your curves. If you were giving somebody advice, watching how they could do that as well, what would be your like top tip? Um, I think if I'm completely honest, my top tip would be to get out of your comfort zone. That's mm. how I first did it. So, for me, it was like. Sometimes a bit scary, but going to the nth degree first. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know, I'm going to wear a bodycon dress and I'm just going to suck it up. It's going to be fine. It's not as bad as I think it is. Um, and that really just kind of like helped me feel better. Yeah. And then you start doing like the smaller steps. But for, I guess for someone who's like starting out, maybe it's just buying one piece that you're like, I don't feel super comfortable in this, but I'm just going to try it. Yeah. And hope for the best but I think that's the thing that with fashion is that like this actual this top is actually a bodycon dress okay but I've just tucked it in and I've got it with jeans and like on the days where I'm feeling a little bit more like let's go all out I'll wear it as a dress but for those days where I want to be like a little bit more kind of together and chill mm. I just pop on some jeans how do you find high street versus high end in terms of you know really putting a proper range of sizes out there on the market? I think there's a, still a long way for the industry to go. I think we've realized it recently, mm. especially with Fashion Week, just being that there's not as many curve models that are even being seen on runways, let alone there being curve options in a lot of these stores. I think there's a few brands that are definitely making a move in being more inclusive, but there's still such a long way to go. I would say that most of my clothes, I've got a few pieces here that are slightly more on the higher end. There's so many clothes, There's it's so like I can't clothes. get them out. <laughs> <laughs> so like this brand, oh. Hanifa, this is such a gorgeous piece. Darling. Um, and I saw it for a really long time online and was like, 
I don't know if their pieces are going to fit me. Um, and they do. I will say my boobs mash up these. <laughs> <laughs> mash up these um, holes for the buttons so sometimes I have to kind of like wear a pink bra underneath and then kind of like make it into being part of it's, the yeah, outfit. Yeah, it's the vibe that you're going for. Yeah. And I've never actually heard of that brand so yeah, that's like a really either. great shout They've got some really great pieces like I've got a pair of jeans that are from them, a pink pair of jeans that I've actually yet to wear. Um, and, and anything else then? You were saying like, you know, there's a, you said Ooh, there's, few there's a few pieces that maybe you would like splurge on. Uh, I think my next splurge would probably be this Kai Collective dress. Oh, that's beautiful. And is that like a summer holiday piece or would you actually rock that here in London as well? I think I'd rock it here yeah, in I London think as well. I've only actually worn this for a shoot. Um, I've not yet found the right occasion to mm. wear it, but I feel like I'd definitely wear this. Christmas party. Yeah. I love that you, you're talking about like Christmas parties and you're talking about wearing pink and yellow. You don't go down the typical Christmas like black and red route. I'm, no. I'm into it. I like it. I think it's good. No. I feel like when I see you, it's like you use clothing like this armor. Yeah. Like it's this kind of like, I'm empowered, I'm powerful. Definitely. It's telling people who you are, Definitely. like without saying anything. You're like, yeah. this is me. And I think that's a great way to look at clothing and to look at style. Um, and. Is it like a mood booster for you as well? Could you oh, put on something right. and be like, this isn't making me feel good? Yeah, because I even have like outfits where it's a day where I don't know what I'm going to wear. Mm. And for someone else, they might be like, oh my God, this outfit looks like it's so put together. And I just might be like in a mood, can't be bothered. But like, I'm going to opt for like a pink jumpsuit. Is that normal? Maybe not. But that's what I'm going to do. <gasps> I love that. Yeah. Oh my god, where's that from? Um, Big Bud Press. Love it. A Californian brand. It's like you're like working in a garage, but like yeah. a really cool garage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in Greece or something. That's what it feels like for sure. Yeah, no, I love that. So you're using clothing to kind of, yeah, boost your mood yeah. or to give you, you know, set you up for the day. The way other people might meditate, we go for some. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Exactly. If you could only wear. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> one. Outfit. I'll give you outfit. Could, could be a couple of things. Um, what would it be? Like if everything else had to go. I don't know what the reason is. I don't want to be yeah, as dramatic. Do I don't want to. Do that? I don't know. I don't want to be as dramatic as there's a fire in the house. But let's just say you could only save one item from your wardrobe. What's that piece going to be? Like what's that one killer feel good piece that could start off a whole new wardrobe? Um. Can I choose for you? Yes. Okay. I'm like strangely drawn to this. Okay, so this co-ord from oh. Never Fully Dressed. Yes, please. I would say maybe like 45% of my wardrobe is never really? fully dressed. Really? And you know what? I feel like they're one of the first brands of that kind of like mid-range brand that really started embracing different sizes yes. and really catering to every audience. No, I agree. So I actually got the top in their sample cell. Um, Stunning. Obsessed. I love the, the clash of yeah, the two colours. Same. And is that a skirt or trousers? And this is a skirt. Funnily enough, I actually haven't worn the skirt yet. Oh, I feel like you're gonna have to change that and put it on for us today. <laughs> but yeah, so then Oh, this is the it's skirt. gorgeous. Yeah, I love it. I'm like, I need to find the right occasion, like to wear it for like a nice skin. Yes. Because I've worn the top quite a bit. I feel like it's a perfect piece if you're going on holiday because yeah. you can wear it in so many different ways, whether you're just like kind of going to the beach. I mean, very yeah. fancy beach. Um, <laughs> but like going to the beach or going to like dinner, you can dress it up. So I think it's a great piece. I do see a piece of amazing knitwear as well, which as an Irish girl in the cold most of the time, I'm very much drawn to. <gasps> You've got a Hope Macaulay as well. Me. You're the second person I'm interviewing that has a Hope Macaulay. Oh I'm like, God, I I'm feel like I need to have this no, in my do. life. You do. They're so heavy. They're so heavy. That's the only thing. But they're like pieces of art. And I can see how loved this, in, this oh, is, yeah, as no, in like is, you wear this. Yeah, no, you can tell. I'm like, how do I make this look fresh? <laughs> but she doesn't look fresh, but I but love that. But she looks loved. Yes. Um, what is it, like, I mean, this is an investment piece. Yeah, yeah, defo. And what is it about something like this that was like, okay, I'm gonna part with, you know, a couple hundred euro for yeah, this yeah. incredible piece? Um, for me, the quality is mm. insane. Um, it's something that I've been able to wear, whether it was like, we're in the height of winter, mm -hmm. or if it's kind of, springtime where it's still quite a little bit chilly yeah but 
you're not requiring as many layers. Yes. Um, and it's it features my favorite colors. So there's so many ways that I can wear this. Like I've worn it before with like a Kai Collective mesh top underneath, um, which actually was like, I think I've maybe worn that maybe three times, but it wasn't, when I first wore it, I was like, I'm not sure if this is gonna go because the mesh top is actually quite a standout piece in itself. Yeah. So then to throw this with it as well was kind of like, oh, but it worked. Like, so we, we're going rings, we're going like layers of necklaces, we are going earrings, we are all out. And then I'm looking at your bags on the bed as well. And yes. I'm like, okay, so no, we're, we're not doing anything <laughs> understated, which I'm, honestly, I'm here for, but, um, oh, hello. Sorry, I just saw this bad boy. Yeah. Oh, well, tell me about this. Because, okay. I mean, that's obviously quite special. Yes. So, what's so funny is that I actually got this on my mom's birthday. <laughs> for her or for you? Okay. You know what? Happy <laughs> birthday. Happy <laughs> birthday. Um, so, we went shopping, got her a gorgeous Gucci bag, was really lovely. And then I was like, let's just pop into LV, you know, just like have a little look around. And then I saw this bag and I was like, it's me in a bag. Yeah, we can't leave without that, no. can we? Um, and is that one of your first designer handbags or? I've had a few. So this is actually my first designer handbag. Here. Oh, that's cute. Um, my little Gucci got her that Gorgeous. one. My first retail paycheck really fun and cute. I love that. Do you have nostalgia to this yeah. then as well? <laughs> yeah. Because obviously like, you know, my first paycheck, I'm yeah, gonna buy yeah. something. I do the same. A you lot get, of when you get a good, like that, yeah, you get a paycheck and you're like, well, I got to treat myself yeah. now. So yeah. it's a good way to look at it. But I mean, this, well, I wasn't planning to get her. Um, and they literally in the store, they were like, uh, we've just put her out. She's limited edition. So it's either yes or no. Okay. Cause it'll be gone. And I said, yes. Yes. Oh, these are Terry de Havel. I yes. love this brand. So I have styled a few celebrities in my time, and this is always one of my go-to celebrity yeah. shoe brands because and they're it always, they're comfy, they do so many different colorways, and they're just striking. They make everything look good. Yeah. And these are not cheap, so these are like an investment piece as well. Yeah, which I'm looking at her and she's giving a mess. No, so she's giving. Have to sort her out. She's giving. Okay. She's giving worn and loved. Worn <laughs> yes, and loved. We're gonna take it as well. Yeah, I love this though because I do think this is an incredible shoe brand to invest in if you are looking for like a statement kind of platform. Here. I agree. I totally agree. Jeez. Then we have my public desire. These are like <gasps> one of my favorite pairs. Oh hell! And actually, I wore. Oh my god! I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed birthday. with the feather shoe. Yeah. I just feel like everybody needs to have a Carrie Bradshaw feather shoe in their wardrobe. Okay, so what I want to know is, if you were going on a first date, what would be your go-to look? Okay, first dates scare me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but let's open up this side okay. because I have an idea. So I have this stunning Kai Collective Kaftan, which I think is perfect whether it's spring, summer, autumn, winter. This is a really nice pop. Yeah. Um, and I feel like a kaftan or like this kind of um, piece mm -hmm. is such a good way to insert your style. Yes. And kind of showcase a little bit of who you are, but still being like a little bit understated and cool. Definitely. Because I think I would wear this with like a pair of wide leg jeans, a white vest, I think. And then perhaps if it's like quite fancy, we can go with a really nice mm -hmm. heel. And then, and a fancy bag. And then a fancy bag. Oh, I love that. Which just brings it all together. Okay, one question that I've been asking everybody is, what is your style secret? Mm, style secret, more is more. More is more? Yes. So like the opposite of Chanel? Definitely, accessorize it up, more is more. I mean, I'm wearing like double denim today, so I guess that's quite more. Perfect. But I think that's great parting advice. So I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna start adding more accessories. Yes. And yeah, I'll be inspired by your vivacious, colorful, more is more style. I love it. Thank you so much thank for having me. Thank you for me. having me. No, thank you for coming. <laughs>